Dismissing Ashok Chavan's plea, the Supreme Court has today stated that the Election Commission has the power to disqualify poll candidates for wrong declaration of poll expenses. The SC has directed EC to complete its probe against Ashok Chavan within 45 days in relation with the poll expense case. The case pertains to a complaint filed by BJP leaders Mukhtar Abbas Nakvi, Madhav Rao Kinhalkar, Kirit Sumaya and four others regarding publication of advertisements in various newspapers during the election campaign period for the Maharashtra Assembly held in September-October 2009 in the garb of news lauding him and his achievement as the CM. It is a very historic uh, day for uh, the democracy of India because the question of paid news and the malpractices which are conducted in elections by uh, politicians who are not uh, holding in the favour of the country. The issue came up of whether paid news should be included in the expenses which are given by candidates to the election commission and on the failure to do so, whether disqualification can be done by the election commission under section 10A of the Representation of People's Act. Today the Supreme Court has held that Ashok Chavan's petition is dismissed and the election commission has jurisdiction to entertain such petitions under section 10A and to disqualify candidates on failure to properly declare their returns. And the direction has been given by Supreme Court that the matter should be disposed of within 45 days on a day-to-day -day basis without any delay because this is a very uh, important question for the democracy of India. The complaint alleged that Chavan had shown just Rs 5,379 as the expenses on newspaper advertisements in his accounts filed before the commission. In the complaint filed on November 2009, it was specifically prayed to investigate the account of election expenses of Chavan under Section 10A of the People's Representation Act 1951. Section 10A of Representation of People's Act doesn't talk specifically about Lok Sabha or Assembly. Therefore, its impact will be like this. If EC disqualifies him, then he cannot be the member of Legislative Assembly for three years and if Section 10A is properly interpreted, then the Lok Sabha seat can also be disqualified. The SC has persisted disqualification under Section 10A of Representation of People's Act and ordered the EC to complete the inquiry within 45 days and give the judgment. This report was brought to you by NNIS.